Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. So, I said I was gonna design a ship uh, this turn, because I have the uh, the armor quality and the uh, whatever else it was I was waiting for, but I want to wait until the next turn so I get the control station too. So that's... Uh, let's go. But of course, we have some mandatory battles to do first before... Uh, the Italian Empire is accusing our country for war crimes. The Prime Minister is asking your opinion on how to react. The military forces of Italian Empire themselves violate human rights and conduct war in prohibited ways. We offer an amount to help investigation, blah blah blah. That's... Yeah, I'm gonna take the one that doesn't cost money. Agree to peace treaty. Because <laughs> uh, they don't really have anything left to fight with. That's one of their... Didn't these cost... 20 million? The Galatea 1916. Did... Did they refit them and make them cheaper? I'm I am confused. Mm, auto resolve. Don't sink my ships. Draw. Okay. As in this class. Versus some kind of heavy cruiser and some kind of uh, DD withdraw success. Okay, and now I have my control station. And afterwards, as a treat, we get to take the um, Trafalgar out for a spin. Defending a convoy. Okay, shift the sign. Just check in on my research first. Mm. I can design a lot of stuff this turn. Actually, ship design. What was I gonna design? I've forgotten what what I was supposed to design. Oh yeah, a a battleship because I have another battleship hull that I can build something on. I think that was the idea. The Emperor of India was the uh, uh, cancelled project. Yeah, the suspended ones. I can just go ahead and uh, turn them to scrap and then delete the design so it doesn't take up space here. The When I get my new battleships uh, coming in I will also start scrapping the uh, uh, Victorious class battleships. Because they are uh, getting kind of old. And I think I was very limited in what I could do to... Uh, let's, let's view the refit. I think they were very close to the... Um, to the displacement limit. Yeah, they are close to the displacement limit, so there's not that much I can do to it. Uh, the Prince of Wales got some room for more improvements to keep them in service for another uh, uh, couple of years. The good old Indomitables also got some room for improvements. 
But yeah, we're gonna do a new design. And I want two battleships based on the uh, Dreadnought 7 hull. So, we're gonna do what we are used to doing. I'm gonna roll up five random designs, figure out the average cost, and subtract 20%. 87. Probably be a little bit cheaper than the N3 G3 class that the um, hull that the Zealandia class is based on. But at least it's gotten to the point where my battleship hulls are completely flat. So they don't have any like raised parts that uh, limit where you can place your stuff. So 85. Now this is going to be a little bit more of a budget minded ship as compared to the uh, Zealandia. 97 I said and rolled 97. Not sure if there's gonna be like any concept behind this ship. Like the concept behind the Zealandia was basically I wanted her to have 16 inch guns. Uh, 103. And the last roll. Let's just take a look at what the AI has decided is worth 103 million with a four weight offset of uh, almost 30 percent. 15.3 inch guns with five inch, uh, five percent longer barrels. Lots of secondaries in like all the different calibers. Coincidence three. Barbet two. At least the AI is going with maximum bulkheads and a decent uh, top speed. And the last roll. If I can get another 100 something, then uh, I will be happy. 85. Okay, let's do the calculator um, business. see if it's possible to build something good on this uh, on this hull on a budget 87 plus 85 plus 97 plus 103 plus 85 okay divide by 5 that's 91.4 multiply by 0.8 and we get 73.1273. 73. 73. And, uh, and change. Alright. Delete and start from scratch. That's my Zealandia. It looks kinda... kinda plump. I'm just going to start by reducing the draft because I probably want that at a minimum. Speed, I want it to be 26 knots. That's kind of uh, the baseline for my battleships, I have decided. So, crew quarters, they do add a little bit to the weight, but they don't affect the cost for some reason. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, reduce the beam down to 3% to start with. Okay, let's put on the towers. Let's go 
the executor tower. 53 million. And we're gonna need a funnel. Okay, the funnel doesn't fit there. Okay. Can I put... No? I was hoping I could put two funnels on that piece of uh, superstructure, but I can't. Now let's add the guns. The Zealandia and triple sixteens. The Caledonia. Uh, Battlecruiser, which is in uh, production. As uh, triple fourteens, and a price tag of fifty-seven million. I got it that cheap. What do I have? This one, yeah, that's uh, 13 inches. I'm not sure what kind of firepower I want on this ship. Like, my 15 and 16 inch guns are only Mark 1. By the time this is finished constructing, it, it's probably gonna take two years. Then I might have Mark 2s, or at least one of them. I think the 15 inch Mark II's are gonna come in uh, before the uh, 16 inch. That's what they look like. I'm just gonna put them to compare uh, cost and weight. So the 15s are a little bit more expensive, but not that much. I'm gonna put that there. This is just to uh, to have them and compare. I'm not gonna actually have this gun layout. That would be that would be stupid. They of course all have to be 20% longer because that's just a straight up buff enhanced. Okay, so let's take a look at the stats. Triple 15s, Mark 1. Weigh 1800 tons. Cost 3 million per turret. Reload time 210 seconds. Okay. Uh, triple 15, uh, 14, Mark 3. Weigh 1,562 tons, uh, 2.6 million. Reload time, 84 seconds. And the 16s, uh, 4.2 million, 2.5 tons. Reload time, 244 seconds. These do 633 damage with AP. So, yeah, the 15s, not, well, it's quite a bit more damage than the 14s, around 140 more damage per shot, but at less than half the rate of fire. So, they are out, not worth it, until I get maybe the Mark IIs or threes. So it's either going to be 14s or 16s. One out of the two. Mm. 
Mm, I'm, I'm gonna go with 14s. How much does a uh, double 16 weigh? 1.6. Okay. So the price and weight difference between uh, triple 14s and double 16s not that massive. That means I can construct the ship using triple 14s and uh, then in a refit once I get the Mark II and three 16 inch guns later on, if the campaign is still going by then, I can um, refit the ship and uh, mount double 16s instead of the triple 14s. 3.3% accuracy. Four point eight percent at ten thousand meters. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the um, triple fourteens for now. That. That will fix that. There's plenty of room to play with on this hull. Offset, but uh... all right, we haven't even played with the armor and the uh, and the stuff here yet. So, oil reduced. Now we are at a hundred percent. I can even do with one funnel. I think hundred percent. 100%. Nice. Very nice. Now I have an aft weight offset because uh, moving the funnel uh, that chain moved the um, engine placement further back. Might want to replace the tower. Air turbines. That added some cost. Now let's add on all the good stuff. Boom. Big price increase. This is my, like, normal design process. I just add everything on, and then I start removing stuff. Standard ratio. Heavy shells. Increased ammo. So base is 103.1. So 105. 104.7. 104. It's gonna be with this. Like, I don't find turret rotation speed on a battleship to be that important. I'm gonna go with coincidence. I want the hydro, I want the RDF. Okay, we are at 815 million. Budget was 73? 73 points whatever. Okay. Let's make the ship smaller. Let's start by putting on a different secondary tower. This one is just as big. No, 
Now that does not fit anymore. 98% engine efficiency. But it's gonna go up as I reduce the size of the ship. pitch worse. Also, I need to reduce some of this armor. Three inches on the main deck. What does my Zealandia have for armor? She's got six on the main deck, 1.5 on the fore and aft, and five on the fore and aft belt. Okay, we can go with that. Turn this back up to uh, 15 for now. Now that has reduced the cost a little bit. Now it's time to reduce the size of the ship because it's currently much bigger than it needs to be. It is. It is big enough. Even with the beam turned all the way down. I just can't get under the budget. This did improve my pitch though. That's nice. I'll go normal turbines, yes I can. That saved me some money. All the other stats for the geared turbines, it's a lot better than the regular turbines. 77.8, 78.6, that's 800,000 is the price difference. It's 400,000. Like, none of these are individually that expensive. Okay, what more can we do be done to reduce the cost? Now 
Now I'm under budget. Now I'm under budget. And like tucking in my citadel also helps improve things. There we go, balanced. Balanced, under budget. Uh, not that much firepower though. It was a terrible angle. On the uh, rear turret. I would like it to be able to fire more, like, forwards. So when the ship is advancing, I, I don't have to turn too much broadside to, to get the rear turret to fire. So, moving stuff forward again. increase the price it didn't even increase the improve the angle that much like I have to go way back here to, uh, to get a better angle no I will just have to live with the uh, rear turret not having the greatest angle had it perfect, but then I went and messed with it. Four weight offset. Point three. At weight offset point one. Okay, that's good enough. And I have some money left over to uh, spend on secondaries. Fine, very fine. It's even more of an aft weight offset, but I'm gonna do the fine more of the fine tuning after the secondaries are placed, I think. Seventy two point eight. Seventy three point four.
Okay. Let's add some more. Three inch. Do you fit anywhere? Yeah, you do. Fit all over here. And the two inch guns. Blop, blop. Some parts are badly placed. No, they are not. Stop messing with me. There we go. Some parts are badly placed. You? Okay. You were badly placed. Badly placed. Weight offset is improving a little bit. Can I move this forward? You can still turn. After it offset point five. Point four forward offset now. There we go. Point one aft weight. Decent enough. And yeah, I said 73 and change, so it's just... Three inches on the... There we go. Perfect. 74. Close enough. Close enough. Uh, pitch is not the greatest. It's giving me some minuses. Plotting room thing. Is that just like uh, built into the uh, ship? Maybe. Protection, 16,500 meters spotting range. Uh, let's see, let's see. So this is everything that costs money. And what's nice is I went with the geared turbines, which save me weight. That means I have almost 4,000 tons left of displacement to play with for future uh, refits. Save design. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than the Zealandia. Mm. 
Okay, let's uh, let's build two of these. And then we're going to design a new heavy cruiser. Majestic. Build ship. Yeah, I have four of the Caledonias coming in. The Rodneys are finished. Okay. I didn't I didn't catch that. Yeah, the Rodneys are finished. They are uh, ready to go. Let's send them out for a cruise. Like there's nothing left of the Italian Navy that can uh, threaten these ships. It means this fleet here, uh, like you can go back to Plymouth. The battleships will be scrapped. Uh, not the Lord Warden, you can stay. You are fine. The New Zealand class battlecruisers, um, they're gonna go in for a refit. And I'm gonna refit the Cantona, uh, Latona class heavy cruisers also. But before I refit the heavy cruisers, I want to design a new one. I'm not gonna build many of these. I think a squadron of four will be enough. And uh, the rest of my heavy cruiser fleet will be uh, the Latona class because there's nothing wrong with them, really. Let's roll! Thirty-nine. Yeah, heavy cruisers are really going up in price now, as are the battleships. Forty-three. Like just a couple of years ago, in game time, like forty-three million—that was expensive for a battleship. Forty-seven. Definitely not going to build more than four of these. Uh, 39. But how I figure out my uh, budget for a refit, 48, is I take the newest class of more or less the same type, which will be this uh, heavy cruiser class here that I'm designing. Not the one that the AI designed because it looked stupid. And the older ship that's being refit, that would be the uh, Latonas. I'm, I'm just gonna split the difference for uh, for the refit budget. Okay, let's do the math. Porpoise. That's a kind of dolphin, if you didn't know. Uh, let's see, calculator. 39 plus 43 plus 47 plus 39 plus 48. Okay, divide by 5. That's 43.2. And multiply by 0.8. No, not eight. Point eight. Thirty-four point fifty-six. Thirty-five. All right. Thirty-five million for a heavy cruiser. I want to make them a little bit cheaper than that, if I can. Thirty-one knots is decent. I'm gonna go thirty-two. 
I want some range. Of course, want this. I want oil. I want induced. Let's start with the towers. What kind of towers did I put on the Latona? Okay. The difference here will of course be that I'm going with the uh, triple turrets. Could move them both like as one, but then I couldn't. Oh, I don't know. I don't care. How much will I get from a wide funnel one? Twenty nine percent. You can fit up there. Sixty one percent. Ninety-eight point five percent. When I reduce some of the size things, that will probably uh, improve. Yeah, there we go. Main guns. Latonas have ten-inch guns. Uh, like the point of this class will be the eleven-inch guns. Twenty percent longer. Okay. And unbalanced electric one, corrupt four, barbet three. Let's add everything on. Yeah, let's go with that. Heavy shells, increased ammo. 26.6, 27.2. Like in this case, I might actually want the um, uh, turret rotation speed. Budget was 35. I'm still under. The coincidence. I want the hydro, I want the RDF. Still under budget. I might not have to reduce the size of uh, of this ship. I'm gonna reduce the beam by one percent. I will reduce the size by a little bit and then I'm gonna up the draft to minus 10 and just reduce the size until engine efficiency is at 100 there we go Four weight offset, that can be easily fixed. Weight offset 0.1. Okay, let's leave that be for now and uh, let's start adding the secondaries. My Latonas have what kind of secondaries? 
uh, four inch triples mostly gonna go with that because it seems to be effective actually can I go with five inch yeah, I can fit some fives on there fit some fives on there and make them long fit the three on there Why don't you fit? Why? 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 Why not? Why no work? Never mind. Some parts are badly placed. Okay. If you don't like playing nice with the funnel. So I have one three inch turret. That's kind of pointless. After weight offset. Offset now worse. Uh, let's just remove these for now so I have room for uh, placing more stuff. Do something funny. That's too small. That's too big. It's also too big. Very small, all right. Ship is overweight. Okay, and let's uh, not do this. I need some uh, weight uh, for armor as well. Okay. Okay. 
actually no. Let's put it back there. Put you back on there. Alright. Are we sure it doesn't want to no, it really does not want to fit up there. Okay, let's play with the armor. Latona class, what kind of armor did I give you? I think it's got nine inches. Nine on the main belt. Two on the fore and aft. Three on the citadel. Porpoise. Like, I'm still under budget. Budget was 35. So this ain't bad. Nine. What did I say the fore and aft belt was on the Latonas? And three on the inner belt. One. One. Main deck, three inches. Four and a half deck, 1.5 inches. What kind of... Uh, Gonna take a double look at the Latona. Two point two, four and a half belt, three inches main deck, one inches four and a half deck, two superstructure. Okay. So my four and a half belt is a little bit thicker. Four and a half deck, you can go down to one. To two on the superstructure. Can I go 10 on the main belt? I mean, the Italians are doing 15. Uh, yeah, that's starting to look like a ship. Offset point two, that's decent. Let's put the calling tower up to nine inches. Can we go four on the inner belt? Yeah. Can I go eleven on the main belt? Yeah. Decent enough. Decent enough. All right. Well, this hardly matters. Uh, this is kind of sad, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. And I got the RDF, I got the oil fired boilers. Can I even go? No, I cannot. Too close to the weight limit. Alright, porpoise class. Save design. I'm gonna build four. kind of um, bridging the gap between a heavy cruiser and a battle cruiser with those 11 inch guns. Four. That's a squadron.
you can go to you two can go to Portsmouth. These four can go to uh, what Plymouth? Seventeen months for a heavy cruiser. Okay, that's probably it for this episode. Now, what I'm gonna do probably off camera, uh, yeah, I promised you this, it's, it's gonna have to wait. I'm gonna do it next episode. What I'm gonna do off camera is I'm gonna start uh, making some refit designs. We're gonna refit the Latona class cruisers. They're gonna get uh, Krupp 4 armor, I think they have Krupp 3 at the moment. They're gonna get oil-fired boilers, they're gonna get the RDF thing, and uh, and so forth. Not like major refits, they, they're they gonna stay mostly the same. If I can do something about my light cruisers, I'm gonna do that too. The, um, what's it called? New Zealand class battlecruisers. They're gonna be a refit. I, I want them to be faster. They are now slower than the old Indomitable class DCs. So I want them to be at least 30 knots. Victorious class battleships, they're gonna be, be scrapped because there's just not that much more I can do with them. Uh, the Prince of Wales is, uh, they're gonna stay in service for a while longer. Okay, goodbye and take care.